there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this guitar lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play I See Fire by Ed Sheeran. This came as a request on one of my other videos. I hadn't heard the song before, but it's beautiful, and it's a lovely little piece to play on the guitar. If you've got any requests, if you could put them in the comment section. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really helps me out. Give me a like on the video. And if you love what I'm doing, and you wanna support me, I've got a Patreon account. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll put the tabs for this on my Patreon page as well to make it a bit easier for you so you can print them out. Okay, so guitar's in standard tuning, but we've got a capo on the sixth fret. Uh, the intro sounds like this. So for that, we're gonna start. You've got the low E string, first finger on G2, little finger on B5. We're gonna hit those all at the same time. And then you can hammer on your third finger onto fret four, so you got, and then pull it off back to the two, and then pull your first finger off. So you got, okay. So that's the first little hit. That's the trickiest bit of the whole song, probably. And then you're going to play the open D, hammer onto D two, and then G on its own. So slowly. faster up speed and then we're going to go to your third finger a3 we're going to play the a3 the d the g and the b strings but hammer on your first and second fingers your first finger on b1 second finger on d2 at the same time like this so really really fast so you don't really hear those open strings you just hear it kind of flamming onto it so the first little section slowly goes The X is, you're just going to hit the strings with your hand. So the first bar. And then we've got our third finger on B3 and our first finger is going to hammer on to G2 at the same time as hitting the D string. And then you're going to play the B3. So you've got that in the second bar. A percussive note and it's like this E minor chord which is just your second finger A2, third finger D2 and you're only going to play the bottom four strings on that chord and then finish off with a hit. So bar two goes so the whole line slowly and up to speed So that's the intro, it repeats twice, it does it twice. Um, it also does it again after the first verse. Now the verse, two lines uh, to get through. Sounds like this. So for that, um, I haven't put the percussive notes in. It's just going on one, two, and, uh, so on beat two and four. So you can just add those percussive notes in. I've just written it out to make it easier, just the chords. So we start with this E minor chord like we had on the previous line, which is just A2 and D2. And you're playing the bottom four strings. And then we've got a G chord where you just need to put your finger on A3. And then we're gonna play the open D, G and the B strings. So bar one goes. Putting the percussive notes in, you got. And then this D5 chord, your third finger on B3 and your first finger is gonna hammer on instantly onto G2 and you're gonna play the open D string at the same time. And then we've got a C chord, which is your first finger on B1, second finger D2, third finger A3. C chord. So bar four goes. That's with the percussive notes without the percussive notes. So bars one and uh, well, so first two bars of that line, which are bars three and four, go. Bar 
bar five is the same, or the next bar is just exactly the same as the first bar, E minor is a G, the D5 is the same, but then it goes to A minor seven chord, which is the same as a C chord, but without the third finger on, so you play the open A string, play the middle four strings. So that's A minor seven. So let's do the whole of that line of the verse, here it comes. On to the second line of the verse. Uh, you've got the first four bars are the same as the previous line. So E minor to G, D5 to C. With the C chord, you, um, you can also hammer on your second finger if you want. That sounds quite nice. Um, or you can just play it normal. Then in bar nine, you've got the A minor seven, and it's gonna go to a B minor seven, which is your first finger barred from the A string on the second fret downwards. Second finger on B3, third finger on D4. So that's B minor seven. A little bit of a tricky chord there. And then we've got the C chord. Um, and then it goes from there all the way back to the intro part. Like that part. But let's just try the verse up to there. You see on that bar 10, it, it says de capo, which means go back to the beginning. It doesn't repeat that first line, the part, it only does it once and then it goes into the verse again. But let's just try playing the verse through um, the two lines. Here it comes. Three, four. Okay, so then after it's done that verse the first time, it repeats back, does the intro part once, and then does the verse through, and then uh, after that it carries on and does this bar 11, which is just the same as bar 9, so bar 11 and 12 are the same as bar 9 and 10, it just does it again. And then that takes you to the chorus. Now the first two bars of the chorus go. So for that we've got E minor 7, which is your little finger on E3, third finger on B3, second finger on D2, first finger on A2. So we've got that E minor 7 chord. Then to the next chord we've got C add 9, the third finger and the fourth finger stay on E3 and B3. Your first finger moves to D2 and second finger A3. So that's C add 9. The next chord we need is a D chord, which is your second finger E2, first finger G2, third finger B3, and then it goes back to E minor chord, uh, E minor seven. So you've got and you can put a bit of rhythm into it. So it does that three times, and then on the fourth time it goes E minor seven to C add nine, D to this E minor slash A chord, um, which is kind of like E minor or A minor nine shape, I suppose, uh, which is just your first finger on D two, and you play the D G B uh, A D G and the B strings, and it just hits that. So let's just try the chorus uh, three times on the first two bars, and then you just carry on. Here we go. One, two, three. Four.
And then after that, it does the chorus chords through, and then it will go to the verse, um, go through that, and then it will go to the chorus uh, the second time. And that's the whole song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, giving me a like on the video with that thumbs up button down below. Uh, leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from. It's really interesting for me. Um, and if you've enjoyed it and any song requests, any songs you want to learn, put it in the comment section. I'll try and do a video for you. Also, if you love what I'm doing and you want to keep me going and you want to support me, I've got a Patreon account. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.